I've heard your comments, okay? The long-awaited Instax Mini Evo review is here. Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. <laughs> I have been trying to make this video for a very, very long time. And the reason I haven't made this video is because getting my hands on one of these cameras has been absolutely impossible. They go up for sale and then they sell out and then they're immediately being price gouged and scalped online. Amazon, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, all of the sources that you would typically be able to buy some stuff. So this thing retails for $200. It is a very expensive instant film camera, especially for a mini film camera, keep that in mind. But the cool thing about this camera is that it's a hybrid of both worlds. So this is going to be somewhat of a controversial video if you are a regular die hard film photographer. But if you are a casual shooter that just enjoys being able to take photography and expressing yourself in a creative way, then you're gonna, I think you're gonna love this. So this camera is a digital camera. Yes. This isn't a standard instant film camera where you operate it with a shutter and goes through a lens and the light hits the film medium and then it ejects out of the camera. That's how an instant film camera works. But I gotta say, there are lots of forms of instant cameras. And this falls in that category. I've done videos on other types of instant cameras that uses the zinc paper or even the dye sublimation cameras like from Kodak. The way it works is it takes pictures like a digital camera and it prints it out. I have air quotes there because it just doesn't print in the traditional sense where like ink to paper. This is being exposed as it ejects out of the camera. But for the lack of a better way to describe it, I guess we'll be calling it printing. They even say printer on here as well. It's so much fun to use. I have thoroughly enjoyed using this camera. Because one of the cool things about this camera is that you operate it like any digital camera would or your phone. A lot of people these days are coming to the instant film world from the digital world. It's not like the olden days where it was already in the film world, you advance to the digital. A new age, new era, new generation of photographers that have never even used film before. And this is a great entry point for those types of people. You don't have to think how a film camera works to use this. You just shoot it like you would with your phone. It has all the aesthetics of a film camera of the day. I just think it's really cool. It's compact, it's small. It's probably the smallest instant film camera that you can buy. To turn it on, there's a little switch on the corner. It doesn't have a film counter anywhere on the outside of the camera. It, you do have to turn the camera on to see how many shots are left, and they're displayed with dots. Now, naturally, when you take pictures with this, you're gonna wanna shoot it like this, right? That's how a camera naturally goes, and there's a shutter button on the top. But when you do this, keep in mind that once it prints out, it will be in horizontal mode. The photo will, will be in horizontal. Why am I pointing that out? Well, Instax Mini Film is kind of a vertical format. And be able to get that format, you will have to turn the camera to the side. And they even thought of this ahead of time with a second shutter button right there. Now on this camera, keeping with the aesthetic of a film camera, where the shutter speed dial would be actually activates different types of filters for your photos. They've got a normal mode, there's a retro mode, there's blue mode, there's red mode, there's yellow mode, there's sepia, there's monochrome, which is kind of interesting. You can shoot black and white photos on color film. The reason I point that out is because normally black and white film is actually more expensive to shoot with in the instant world. Yeah, a pack of 10 will run you maybe $15 versus a double pack running you about $13, $14 of color film that is. So you could actually get color film and print it out black and white for cheaper if you're into shooting black and white. There's also like, like a canvas overlay. There's a pale mode, which is basically like a desaturated color uh, effect. In total, there's 10 effects. However, that's not all. On the lens here, there is another dial. You spin this and you get different effects. You have normal mode, then you have a vignette overlay. Then there's soft focus for that little beauty filter maybe, yeah. There's a blur, which I don't quite understand that one. Kind of like a vignette blur. There's a fisheye mode. There's a color shift, kind of like an RGB split, if you know what I mean, like a glitchy effect. There's light leaks, which is kind of fun. A mirror mode, which kind of like duplicates one half of your screen. Double exposure, 
But then you can do half frame, which is put multiple frames onto one picture, which, I mean, Insects Mini film is small. I mean, hence the name Mini. So if you want an even smaller picture, I mean, you do have that option. And you can combine the effects, if you're wondering. Now, here's a really cool and unique thing about this camera. Once you take your picture, you're not committed to that picture. You don't have to have it eject out of the camera or print. You can move on, you can delete it, or the coolest part is save it for later, print it at another time. Let's say you ran out of film. Well, with other cameras, you're just done taking pictures. With this, you're not. You can continue to take pictures and just load more film in later and print them out once it's more convenient. However, to do that, you do have to have an SD card put in, otherwise you won't be able to do it. And it doesn't come with one. But you don't need an SD card to even operate this. You can still shoot away without having one. If you go into the settings, there's you got a few options to choose from, like how the face detect works, uh, flash or no flash or auto flash, uh, print quality, things like that. But one of the other cool features that this thing has is Bluetooth. You can connect to your phone, use your phone, take some pictures, and then you can utilize this as a printer. Pretty neat feature. It also has a cold shoe mount, so you can stick on a light source of some kind, maybe another camera uh, for POV shots if you're a content creator. It has a little selfie mirror on the front tripod mount on the bottom and it has a built-in battery that you can recharge. I haven't had any problems with the battery dying on me like I've used it all day long without any problems. Now I'm turning it on and off each time and I'm also not printing them every single time so that's also something to keep in mind. It also comes with a neck strap, a detachable one that might I add. So I think that's a neat thing and I wish more cameras would get on that be able just to take this on and off, really nice. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. I've seen some really bad ones in my day. So this one's kind of middle of the road. One of the other things that this camera is just really unique and exclusively to is the fact that a lot of times we run into a problem where we take a picture of some friends and they want a copy of it. So you have to either tell them, hey, hang on, let me go home and I'll, I'll scan it in, make, you know, man, print off or I'll send you a digital copy, things like that. With this, that problem is irrelevant. You can print as many as you want of the same photo. Now the camera on here is like probably an old web camera from like 10 years ago, maybe even older than that, but it doesn't need to be that good because it's going on to film. And even then, it's actually a pretty solid camera. Like I've been getting some great pictures with this thing. And you can take the pictures off the camera and put it onto your computer, which is also a neat, fun thing. I mean, on the box itself, it says there's a hundred possible lens and film effect combinations. I just, that, that's just fun. This camera here is just that. It's supposed to be fun. And a lot of people in the community of instant photography or just photographers or whatever you want to call yourselves, they hate this camera. I've gotten so many messages when I got this. I posted over on my Instagram. I posted stories about, hey, I'm looking forward to testing this out. Can't wait. I was getting slammed with people saying, how dare this thing exist? There's literally, this is an abomination. It baffles me to see how people are so just narrow-minded <laughs> when it comes to things entering their world that they think is their world. This is a creative tool to express creativity. And this right here it will help other people join our community to join instant photography, get more people into this hobby and craft. This is the perfect best camera that we can put into someone that has never shot instant photography in their life. Get this in their hands and they're going to have a blast. I am so thankful that this exists. Let's say I want to go outside right now and shoot some Polaroid or even some Instax film. Well, guess what? It's snowing out right now. You can't do that. Well, I mean, you can, but it's not easy because the temperature outside affects the film. With this, I can still go out, shoot all the photos I want, then come back inside, warm up, have some hot cocoa, and then hit print. That's so cool. So if you can find one of these, I highly recommend getting them. They are hard to find as of the date of this recording. They come into stock, they sell out. So I'll leave some links down below if I can find some or just continually check back to this video and hopefully there's a link that uh, is working for you. But this camera is fantastic. It gives my seal of approval. It is a little expensive though for an Instax camera. It is $200. Don't pay more than that. If you do, you are getting scalped. Unless you don't mind that, that's your choice. Hopefully you have found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art, and don't listen to the haters. This thing is awesome.